Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, change the Macintosh HD icon that's on your desktop. Uh, I made a video on how to change your application icons, like anything that's in the application section in your finder, um, all these stuff, there's this stuff, but um, there's no Macintosh HD in your applications. So therefore it's hard to change. Um, you need a couple apps. One is called Candy Bar, which is a paid application, but it's also very easy to pirate it, which I don't recommend you do, but it is possible. And then you probably won't need this one, but for some icons you do. And it's called Image to Icons, but it's just like shortened IMG number two ICNS. Um, yeah, it's just image to icons. Um, so once you have those two apps, I believe image to icons, uh, that might be a paid one too, but it's just the quickest way to convert um, icons, which when you download them, some may be in a PNG instead of a .icns, which is what you need to change it. So um, two websites I recommend, iconfinder.com, which doesn't have the large of a selection, but um, it's just like more professional and better looking. Another one would be deviantart.com, which a lot of you may have heard. So uh, let's go ahead and type in Macintosh HD icon, and same on over here. Deviantart is like all different types of media. There's a bunch of sections I recommend you guys go check those out, but Icon Finder is just for icons. As you can see, this is pretty much all there is. And there's a second page. But there's not that much more. But they're more professional looking. Um, so back to DeviantArt. These are all user, user submitted, so like pretty much anybody can make them. There's a lot of professional looking ones, like this. Like where they take a lot of time just to make a little screenshot of it. And, um, uh, see that one looks pretty nice and some things that really don't have anything look like the Macintosh HD icon but you can still get it as your icon as long as the dot .icns format you can put it as the icon but you know, your choice alright this one's just an iMac but um it includes the PNG plus icns which most people will put that either in the picture or up down here and the default size for Mac icons is 512 by 512 but, um, it just kind of automatically adjusts it if it's different. Like if you have your icon size set different in your finder. Alright, so I'm just going to download this one. Alright, and it's downloaded now. And it's done. Alright. So it's a zip file, just double click to unzip. Delete that. Here's my new folder and here's the preview and then here's the dot png and there's the dot icns there's barely any difference but yeah so what you want is the icns format and then just save it somewhere actually yeah I have an icons folder And I'm going to drag it in here. And I went ahead and loaded up um, Candy Bar because it is kind of slow to load up all the stuff. So over here you're going to see four different tabs. You're going to go to the last one. And it's conveniently that it's just the Macintosh HD icon where all your volumes, like if you have a flash drive plugged in or um, like a mobile me volume icon, that'll be right there too. And then down here will um, it'll be my icon section. And it'll be blank if you just download it. Just drag your icon into there, and you're good to go. Now drag that on top of your icon. Then hit Apply Icons. Type in your password. Hit Relaunch Finder. All right, and I'm gonna go and quit this. And boom, there's a Macintosh HD icon, or just my Macintosh HD. And there's the 27-inch iMac icon. Thanks guys for watching the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and donate.